Gandang araw po at welcome po sa ating panibagong episode. Ngayong episode na to, pag-uusapan natin kung ano yung mga rason why we should not kill or not to eat our sharks. Pero bagong lahat, let's learn some basic biology of shark. So what is shark? So shark is a long-bodied, chiefly marine fish with cartilaginous skeleton, a prominent dorsal fin, and a tooth-like scale. So, Makikita natin sa mga movies, usually ang pinaportray ng shark is yung may prominent na dorsal fin. So, yung skeleton niya ay hindi po siya buto, kundi it's a cartilage. So, yung shark natin, mayroon po siyang tatlong bahagi. So, yun yung head natin, yun yung trunk, at saka yung tail. So, titingnan natin kung ano yung uh, world scenario in terms of uh, animal-related uh, deaths. So, yung deer natin, uh, nasa 130 people killed annually. Yung jellyfish naman natin is 40. Yung hippopotamus is 2,900 per year. Yung horses, 20. Ants, 30. Yung cow, 22. While yung shark natin is only 5 people killed annually. So, let's take a look on the comparison of... Uh, animal related related deaths Pero sa mga pelikula na nakikita natin pinoportray ng shark it's a, is a dangerous creature. So andiyan yung mga movies uh, ng sharks like in the deep, yung the shallows, salt water, Meg, Mega Shark versus giant octopus at yung uh, ghost, ghost shark at marami pang iba. So, ito yung mga rason uh, why not to kill or not to eat our sharks. Unang-una, sharks are being fished at a rate faster than they can recover. Ano kung ibig sabihin ito? So, according to reports, sharks are being killed at an alarming rate up to 270 for a 73 million worldwide per year while 500 to 100 shark attacks occur each year and only 2 to 4 of these results in death for human. So, masyadong mababa po. Although marami yung sharks natin, but they are fished uh, at higher rate. Pero yung uh, yung deaths na related to sharks is only 2 to 4 per year. Pangalawa, killing sharks affects entire ecosystem. So, let's take a look on the example. So, the shark as a keystone species. So, key shark, uh, hammerhead shark prey on caunus rays, which in turn prey on bivalves like clams, oysters, and scallops. This food web has been in balance for thousands of years. When the hammerhead shark population plummeted from overhunting on the mid-Atlantic coast, the caunus ray population began to rise. So, ano yung naging resulta? So, soon the scallop population could not support them. In 2004, it collapsed and shut down the North Carolina scallop fisheries. This food web balance was lost. So, yun yung, yun yung naging epekto. So, nawala yung hammerhead shark natin na siya yung uh, nagkocontrol sa dami ng population ng Kaunos race. So, ang naging dahilan, ang nag naging resulta is Dumami ng dumami yung kaunos race natin and then nag-over grazing sila so uh, kumunti na yung population ng uh, bivalves natin like clams, oysters, and scallop. Ito pala yung ibig sabihin ng keystone. So keystone, uh, like this one, like in this illustration, pag tinanggal mo siya, magkukollapse yung entire structure. So, gano'n din po yung role ng shark sa ecosystem. So, third, shark meat contains toxic mercury. So, bakit, bakit may nagkakaroon ng mercury yung meat ng shark? So, heavy metals and other environmental toxins accumulate in plants and other animal tissues through the well-documented process of bioaccumulation. So, actually, sa dagat, meron din talagang presence ng mercury. Then, habang tuma tumatanda ng tumatanda yung shark or any other species, 
uh, nag ano sila nag accumulate sila ng toxins like the mercury so consuming shark will increase the level of mercury you ingest which will in turn increase your risk of neurological disorders autism infertility coronary heart diseases or even death so yun yung pong maging resulta pag uh, kumakain tayo ng shark especially yung mga large size na ng mga sharks four sharks prevent prey from overgrazing vital habitats so uh, ito parang related lang din sila dun sa uh, number two but ito yung isa sa uh, pinakarason sharks regulate the behavior of prey species and prevent them from overgrazing vital habitats so yung uh, yung mga vital habitats natin na andun din ng sharks actually uh, parang pinoprotektahan niya rin rin yun kasi pag dumamin dumami din yung ano natin yung mga prey species uh, tapos walang parang walang nagbabantay para sa tao din pag walang nagbabantay uh, andun talaga yung uh, mentality of uh, being an opportunistic pero since my shark may nagre-regulate din sa mga vital habitats natin and then hindi rin masyadong dumadami yung mga prey natin kaya yung mga habita habitats natin uh, continue lang din yung uh, uh, production ng uh, food number five sharks are worth more alive than dead so while a huge demand for shark fins in asia results in the slaughter of tens of millions of sharks annually a study found that sharks are worth far more alive than dead so in palau for example where more than half of tourists are drawn by diving exertions each reef shark so isang sh uh, reef shark brings in about 179,000 US dollars for tourism revenue annually or about 1.9 million dollars during its lifetime so ganun po kalaki yung contribution ng uh, isang reef shark for uh, diving tourism so by comparison a single shark's fin sold for shark fin soup features only about 100 $8. So, masyadong malayo po yung uh, diferensya. Okay? So, number six. Sharks are good indicators of ecosystem health. So, the loss of shark from certain areas may be an indicator of an ecosystem out of balance and in trouble. Provided the sharks have not been fished out of certain areas, it is reasonable to assume that their di disappearance would be a result of the destruction of suitable habitats. So, kung sa area wala ka na makita ng shark, ibig sabihin, uh, ibig sabihin po nun ay hindi na po healthy yung isang ecosystem. So, it's possible na na-overfish sila or nasira na yung uh, habitat. Number seven. Sharks keep our oceans healthy and productive. So sharks have evolved in a tight interdependency with their ecosystem. They tend to eat very efficiently, going, going from the old, sick, or slower fish in the population, keeping the population healthy. So ganun po ka-choosy yung shark natin. Very efficient po sila mamili ng pagkain. So usually, uh, inuna nila na target yung mga matatanda yung masakitin o yung mababagal sa population. Meaning, hindi na yun sila healthy for that population. So, population of uh, fish or any uh, other aquatic uh, organisms. So, kung hindi sila mamili sa, hindi sila mapili dun sa pagkain nila, ibig sabihin, uh, baka wala nang sumusunod sa kanilang mga yung mga trivali o yung mga remora or yung mga pilot fishes natin. So, dahil mapili sila, uh, at nakita nila na healthy yun, eh, hindi nila kinakain. Kaya may sumasabay din talaga sa kanilang iba-ibang iba isda. So, shark, sharks groom many population of marine life to the right size so that those prey species don't cause harm to the ecosystem by becoming too populous. So, sila yung, ano, sila yung nagmimaintain ng population ng 
iba't ibang species para uh, yung species na yon ay lumaki sa right size at hindi rin sila masyadong dadami para uh, mag-overgraze naman dun sa ibang uh, species sa ecosystem. So, sa buong uh, Western and Central Pacific Ocean, meron po tayong uh, managing uh, body na nag-re-regulate uh, ng uh, shark and other uh, other organisms, especially uh, tuna. So, dahil nakita nga na pakunti, na, pakunti ng pakunti yung population ng sharks natin, so bumuo po sila ng mga polisiya o mga measures uh, on the conservation and management of our sharks. So, ito po yung mga tinatawag natin na key shark species. So, ito yung mga species na kukunti na lang yung kanilang uh, population kaya binigyang pansin ng komisyon para sa sustainability ng mga shark species na to. So, Unang-una, we have the blue shark. So, ito po yung mga characteristics niya. Next, we have the oceanic white tip shark. So, may uh, white tip dun sa uh, dorsal fin niya. And then, silky shark. Pelagic treasure shark. A big eye treasure shark. Common treasure shark. So, tatlo po yung klase natin ng uh, treasure shark. You also have short fin mako shark. And then, the long fin mako shark. So, yan po yung pinagkaiba ng dalawa. And then, we have the scallop hammerhead shark and the smooth hammerhead shark. So, yan po pinagkaiba nila dun sa uh, center ng ano nila, ng snout. So, medyo may hollow part yung scallop. Smooth naman yung sa smooth hammerhead shark. So, balikan natin kung ano yung mga rason why we should not kill or eat our sharks. So, nauna, sharks are being fish at a rate faster than they can recover. So, mababa po yung uh, spawning rate ng shark. So, pangalawa, sharks, uh, killing sharks affects entire ecosystem. Uh, example nga nun, yung uh, kaunos natin, uh, nawala yung shark, wala nang kumakain o nagre-regulate sa population ng kaunos race natin, kaya kumunti na rin yung population ng mga scallops. And then, isa din sa rason, uh, like sa celebrity, uh, kumunti na yung sharks, wala na rin nanginginain dun sa squids natin, kaya kumunti din yung tuna population natin sa celebes. Dahil ang juvenile ng tuna, o yung mga early stages ng tuna, is paboritong kainin ng mga squid, especially at at night dahil uh, nocturnal, nocturnal nga yung mga squid uh, and then yung uh, mobility ng tuna natin is uh, lower at night and then doon naman nago uh, to take advantage yung squid natin a shark meat contains toxic mercury so example nga uh, ng mga diseases na ma na magresolve is yung mga autism, yung mga neurological uh, disorders, and uh, coronary heart diseases, or even death. Shark pre prevent prey from overgrazing vital habitats. So, sila din po yung nagre-regulate sa uh, population, and then nagbabantay dun sa mga vital habitats natin para hindi maubos o masira yung uh, mga habi vital habitats. Sharks are worth more alive than dead. So, uh, it, ito po ay related doon sa tourism. So, example doon sa Palau, 179,000 uh, isang reef shark while 108 uh, US dollars lang yung pagpatay na yung shark. 
and then shark are good indicators of ecosystem health. So, pag ibig sabihin, pag wala na yung shark ng isang ecosystem, uh, posibleng uh, number fish sila or sira na yung uh, mga vital habitats. Number seven, sharks keep our oceans healthy and productive. Ibig sabihin po, yung shark natin is masyadong efficient sa pagpili ng kanyang pagkain. So, they go from the old, the sick, on, or the slow in the population. So, ibig sabihin, pag nawala, nawala yun, healthy yung naiwan dun sa population ng iba't ibang species. So, yun lang po. Uh, thank you for uh, watching our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. And please do subscribe and click the not notification bell para ma-notify po kayo pag mayroon po kaming in-upload na mga bagong informative videos.